guys, welcome back to the Tribecast. We're playing Guns of Icarus Online for another ship spotlight. Today we are previewing the Galleon for Guns of Icarus. Now the Galleon is probably the heaviest ship in the game. It's got an amazing loadout. I believe it has six guns on it. I'm pretty sure. Well, no, one. Um, yeah, six guns. One, two, and then there's four below deck. And they're very heavy weapons as well. It's not... It's not, this ain't your mom's ship, okay? So we've got two manticore guns down here, two light flat cannons, which are also very, very good, very heavy artillery. The only problem is with these guns is that they have very limited, I guess, field of view? Is that what you'd call it? I don't know. But it's, it's very limited in what you can see. Now, we have our two engines back here, of course. Yeah. Get them tuckered up there. And then we have our third main engine up above deck. Oh, wrong way. Right back here. Now, the weakness the weakness to the Galleon, other than being probably the slowest ship in the game, other than maybe the Pyramidian, is that everything is so spread out. That's its weakness. Because, I mean, everyone, almost everyone has to be an engineer for this ship to work. Just so that you can keep up with the repairs. It's a very big ship. It's got a very large body, big balloon, everything. So we're going to he get headed over. Here's the hole. Our whole health. And then the pilot should actually be responsible for the balloon and your rear gun. And you can get up here. It's, it's more for just aesthetic pleasure. There's nothing up here to repair or anything. And you can get a pretty decent vantage point as well, which is also helpful when calling targets as the pilot. <clears throat> and we've got a flamethrower mounted back here. I like having that because faster ships are going to try and creep up on you and do the exact same thing to you. So the job is to get the thing flaming on them first. We've got our balloon here. Once again, I, I always try and take over because I'm typically the pilot for this stuff. Um, I try and tip take over as pilot and repairman for uh, the upper deck. <clears throat> Next, I try and have um, an engineer here. Because, once again, we have whole health here. That's very important. And we have this gun here. And this we have right now as a harpoon launcher. The harpoon launcher absolutely rips holes apart. Um, and it pulls them closer so you can attack with your closer range weapons. And we've got the main engine here. And your two engines upstairs as well. And the engineer can get access to that. As well as be supported by the pilot for any further repairs. Now down here. I think it's good to have one gunner at least. So you can change your ammo types and adapt to your situation that way. And as well as another engineer just to keep up with repairs on the dual engines down here and as well as some of the heavier guns so let's go ahead and do our thing and attack the beak and we'll head up this way and I really like that staircase because it really makes the lower decks accessible um, to players on some of the higher on the higher ground We're going to head over here, and look at this thing. This thing is like a lumbering behemoth. Like, it's so slow. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and watch the gunners uh, take out take out this beacon here. And actually, I'm going to do it. I don't want them to have all the fun. And look how long you have to wait to get into range. That's, that's kind of like another negative. And once you are in range, you only get two shots. So let's go ahead and launch one and two. And those are the Manticore shots. That is probably my favorite gun in the whole game. It is so fun to shoot. Because it just launches a barrage of very good artillery. And it's very fun to shoot. It's probably, like I said before, it's probably my favorite gun to shoot. It's really entertaining. Um, let's actually, let's showcase the Harpoon gun because it is... It can be a very, very useful uh, weapon in combat. So I'll get us turned around here. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take a year and a half like it did last time. <clears throat> and 
And being able to use your speed can really, really change the tide of battle simply because <coughs> oftentimes it can benefit you uh, to switch to the other side of your guns. And oftentimes that can even save you in battle because that way you don't have to reload. And I'm going to go ahead and use my hydrogen fuel and that should increase the speed of our ship for the time being. You see, we are picking up speed, but it's really hard on the balloon. And we'll go ahead and repair that. We'll go ahead and slow the ship down. Slow it down to level 1 speed. Okay. We'll head down to the harpoon gun and get a clear shot on it. Pew! Oh, we missed it. Quick reload! There we go, I think we got it. I think because we're in practice mode, it might not attach. I don't think it does. But it is very cool when it does attach. Because it pulls your enemy towards you, and it's really fun to pull them in and mess with them a little bit. Well, thank you guys. This has been the Spotlight of the Galleon for Guns of Icarus Online. This has been Virgo with the Tribecast. We will see you next time for our next Spotlight. Bye-bye!